Hey, the wonderful people of YouTube, and welcome, welcome to the studio. It's the shed that we've been working on for a couple or for a while now, and uh, today is going to be an RC video. And we are just going to, uh, I'm just going to tell you guys what we've updated it on and what we've put on it. And actually, I'm just going to start with the shocks because I, that's like the most important thing. And uh, these two right here, they're actually purple. They came off of an HPI Savage, I think it was. Or not a Savage. Um, that's Traxxas. Um, I don't know what it came off of. I, I don't know what kind of HPI it came off of. I know it came off of an HPI. I just can't remember, remember which one. Also, this uh, plate back here. Let me move the camera so you guys can see it. This little purple plate right here. I said purple. Purple plate right here. Came off of a... It's a uh, shock mount or a body post mount for... Um, HPI 2 it was gas powered and uh, we have Just these little things right here for the body came off of the tra uh, Arma actually uh, this two uh, body posts came off of the Arma uh, Tires came off of the Arma you guys already know that and pretty much all we did was extend the body post mounts and um, Put dual shocks on the back we got two here and two here, so we're running four shocks on the back, which actually gives it a little more, I don't know how to explain it, but it gives it a little more, like, stirability, so that way the motor doesn't smack the ground whenever I come on those hard jumps. But that's about it. Uh, this truck actually has gone through five different servos. It's gone through, um, uh, what servos? It gone through, it went through two, um, uh, waterproof, um, Arma servos, and I think it went through, hang on, I have them here somewhere, uh, I went through like three Hexfly servos, so uh, yeah, those are like some good servos, but this one right here is actually waterproof Hexfly, um, we have the strap here to hold in the battery, and um, I think that's about all we've done to it so far, well, I actually uh, mounted these uh, the uh, receiver and the ESC on tighter, uh, a little too tight. The screw actually came out to the bottom right here for the uh, ESC, but uh, at least it keeps it on there and keeps it from moving, so that's good. Uh, the body actually, um, my original body that I used for the uh, Arma is actually a little destroyed. So let me move the uh, truck out of the way. As you guys can see, it's actually a little messed up. The uh, front right here is actually cut off. You can tell by this side right here. It's pretty much just the uh, headlight sticker part. Because uh, my pit bull, the black and white one that I have, got a hold of this as I was driving it in the backyard. And you can see uh, bite marks in the front. These ones have been here a while now. Um, the strap's missing. There's bite marks on the top. The... Um, Oh, you guys can't see. All right, there's bite marks here. Um, the uh, sides are actually pushed in, so whenever I put it on the body, it actually like flexes out a little bit. So I don't use this body anymore unless I want to uh, destroy it a little bit more. So this body is actually shelf. The body I do use, on the other hand, is right here. This one is actually perfectly fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Well. The top is a little bit scratched, but uh, that's because I went on a couple jumps and didn't land it right. And I just paused right there because there's a helicopter flying over and it scared me a little bit. But uh, it's scratched a little bit on the top. Not noticeable, but it's scratched a little bit. I mean, like, the sticker's coming off a little bit, but it's not noticeable. Uh, the uh, actually 3D paint right here is actually coming off. Uh, I don't know why that's happening, but... Um, uh, it's coming off on the bottom. I think I burned it. I don't know. I might, I might have burned it. Um, but I've barely used this body. I've used it a couple times, and i tried so hard not to scratch it. So this one is actually a little scratched a little bit. This one is actually shelved until I can actually get into races. I'm actually going to take these um, number ones off of here. I'm probably going to put uh, different numbers on. But uh, the shelf, uh, no, not the shelf. The body I do use, on the other hand, is actually a new bright body. It's a one tenth scale new bright uh, McLaren body. It is uh, orange, and there is a slight crack right here. Or I shouldn't say slight; it's a major crack. Uh, last night I um, tested out the body, took it on a couple jumps on my high ramp, or on my high jump ramp, is what I call it. 
and uh, it came down fairly hard on the nose and it cracked it but the bumper actually took most of it but since it sits right up against the bumper it smacked it in and just snapped it it's nothing big I mean I'm, this is just a body to use it there's a couple scratches right here there's a uh, cracks right here I mean there's nothing major to it I mean the windshield or the rear, rear, blah, blah, side mirrors came off um that's about it. I had to drill some holes in it to uh, fit with the uh, body mounts, but uh, that's about it. Um, so, actually, I want to tell you guys about the Rock Crawler too, because I've been doing a lot of videos with that. And really, I've just been doing videos with the Rock Crawler because um, the uh, Traxxas Slash is uh, getting a little messed up lately. So, I don't want to mess that up anymore. And uh, here's the uh, rock crawler that we have. It is actually Red Cat Rock Slide. Uh, I think it's a, I can't remember, RX-10 or something like that. But uh, the charger's here. As you can tell, the light's off, so it's uh, done charging. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, we actually got a different battery in here. Actually, I think this is the original battery. But uh, it's hooked up to uh, uh, Arma e uh, ESC. And we had to put the, uh, I think it was the uh, charger part. Or no, the original ESC part where it hooks up to the battery. You see, we cut it off there. Let me get a little bit closer. All right, you can see right there we cut it off. And uh, we cut off a little bit of wires there. It's just the uh, connectors for the uh, motor. Let me uh, turn this light on so we can see a little bit more. All right, that should be good. Um, nothing really major we done to this, except we got a, uh, race guard in there, a dynamite race guard. Uh, it helps with the four-wheel drive, and, uh, we got the original battery back in there. Um, the tires are full of water because we forgot to, uh, plug up the, uh, breathing holes whenever we run it through water, but, uh, we won't have water issues anymore because Florida hasn't been raining a lot lately. Well, it does, but not enough to fill up the creek that we've been going to, so... We've gone about a week without water in that creek now. So we're trying to find new places to go to uh, do some mud runs and whatever. I've been I've been rock crawling a lot lately because, um, as, as I said before, the Traxxas is messing up and it doesn't really rock crawl. And I've been wanting to rock crawl lately. So this thing actually does a lot. It is actually, in fact, waterproof, we found out. Um, because... Other videos, I was scared to actually put this in water because I thought it was completely not waterproof. And then my stepbrother actually drowned it, and we found out that it was waterproof. So, uh, we actually cannot remove the battery from the ma the battery tray because he zip-tied it down because the straps were uh, getting wet and they dry-rotted, so... They snapped off easily, and the Velcro wasn't working properly on them. But, uh, so that's the rock crawler. Uh, I don't think there's much to it. We got a different body for it, but, uh, we kind of left it at the creek, and I'm pretty sure it's stolen now. It was a, uh, Ford Mustang body. It was actually pretty cool, but one of the sides cracked, so it wouldn't stay on the, uh, body, uh, body mounts. So, um... Anyways, uh, let's quit talking and let's get this Traxxas on the road. <laughs> 